A roundhouse isn't much good without a turntable. You had to be able to access all of these 37 stalls to repair steam locomotives. Now this turntable, built in 1924, is a model of efficiency. It's a simple mechanism, but doing a very big job with very heavy steam locomotives. The turntable at the Bob Julian Roundhouse is 100 feet long. It was built by the American Bridge Company for use by Spencer Shops. It was Southern Railway's largest steam locomotive repair facility in the southeast. Now this turntable built in 1924 actually despite its size operates fairly simply. 250 volts of DC power is sent from the roundhouse and that energy runs through these slip rings. You've got brushes alongside collecting that energy and sending it to the controls in the doghouse. And again, simplicity was the name of the game when this was designed. You have your speed control, four notches forward or four notches in reverse. It was controlled by this resistor bank at lower speeds. There was a higher resistance to the electricity being fed to the turntable. Once you get up to the highest speed, the resistor bank would be cut completely out. Now, as you would be rolling a locomotive on or off the turntable, you obviously want it locked in place. We have the cable-driven braking system. And the turntable is secure. Taking a look at the underpinnings of the turntable, we have the cable-driven brake system. This is our DC motor that is getting power from the doghouse, from those controls. Here, providing more torque, we have the gear reduction box and external gear reduction. Those are all providing enough torque to spin very heavy loads on this turntable via the drive wheel, one of two that are located on each side of the turntable. Just like any other piece of industrial equipment, the turntable needed regular maintenance. For that, we have the inspection pit with access from above and get a full view of the underneath of the bridge, a full view of the drive wheel and the additional support wheels as well. Now to illustrate the extreme amount of weight we're talking about with the steam locomotive and the forces of friction and motion involved, these spring clips were essential. Without them, a steam locomotive moving onto the turntable would shift these rails back and forth. And with only a few inches of clearance, you wouldn't want the turntable rail to impact the rails leading into the roundhouse stalls. In 2011, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, or ASME, designated the Bob Julian Roundhouse and this 100-foot turntable as historic mechanical engineering landmarks. And no further testament is needed to the efficiency and design of this equipment than the fact that almost 100 years later, it's still fully functioning, moving engines in and out of the roundhouse as part of operations for the North Carolina Transportation Museum.